Custis from The Sun. How big is the challenge that's right on your doorstep in terms of Pep Guardiola and Manchester City? And, and how excited are you about taking him on again as you did in Spain? You know, I think Leicester's legacy was not just the happiness around the country and the smile in all of our faces with what they did last year. The legacy from them is also the fact that uh, from now on we are in a competition where 20 teams are fighting for the title. That's the legacy. Um, next season, if you have if you have another team that win the first five matches, um, you will consider that team, doesn't matter who they are, you will consider them candidates. It's over the time where you say, oh, these guys are doing very well, but in December uh, they will collapse. In this moment, that collapse words, Leicester, they kill it, they kill, they kill it. And um, to speak about one, one manager, one club, one, uh, I don't like the word, but one enemy, I hate the words in football and in life, um, I don't think he's, he's right in this country. One thing is you are in, in a competition like I was in, in Spain, which was uh, a two horses race. Uh, now it's become three, but at that time was just two. Or when I was in, in Italy, it was three teams fighting for the, uh, for the title. Then makes sense that kind of approach. In the Premier League, doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense at all because if you if you focus too much in one team, in one opponent, um, the other ones will be laughing. The other ones will be so happy with with that. So I'm not going to be part of it. Uh, I'm Man United uh, a manager with all the respect to all the other clubs in 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 the country, um, especially one especially one that was my house for seven years and um, I share so many incredible moments with uh, with their fans I have to say that I'm the manager of the biggest club in the UK so I don't have to be uh, looking to the others so so much and I'm going to focus on on ourselves and, and in our job so I have the same respect for every every club every manager every opponent and thanks a lot to what Leicester did because it's one of their legacies is to change forever the profile of the competition. I consider Pep to be one of the best, if not the best manager. He's incredible. He's one of the biggest managers in the world. I think we are looking forward to great nets, uh, good football, uh, most of all trophies. Thank you for uh, uh, coming here in, of course, your house. Uh, it's my new house. And I'm so, so glad to be here. And thank you from Manchester City for giving me this amazing opportunity to live in England, to be part of my job in the Premier League. And I am pretty sure we are going to enjoy. I know their quality, but they have to show me and the show our fans and the team again. So the, what they did this place in the past is the past. The people don't come here to see what remember what we did. So we are here to to try again. So, but as soon as possible, we are going to try to create a team spirit. That is the most important thing. After we can talk about the tactics, about many many things. Our body language at that, at that moment, it's in the beginning, is the most important thing, and after the rest, it's coming along. The, the fans, the Manchester City needs the people who grew up, grew up from from the academy, and because now in that moment they feel something special about that player. We need our fans. Without that, it's impossible.
shaking Pep's hand tomorrow? That's the question that I don't want to qualify the question because to qualify the question I would use some unpolite words. Of course I shake his hand. He he... Of course. Well, why, why we should? I don't understand the question to him and I don't understand the question to, my, to myself. We, we worked together in Barcelona for three years. We were opponents in other clubs, but we are just professionals and we have a, a normal relation. So why shouldn't we shake, shake hands? Of course. We are a polite guys. Why not? Why should not shake my hands with him? No reason why. He wanna win, I wanna win, that's all. So. With Pep, Pep comes in with an incredible reputation. Uh, what he did with Barcelona was fantastic. His, his work was fantastic, but he was also very lucky that he had the players to, to sort of bring in the philosophy that he has in football. United versus City. Mourinho versus Guardiola. One city, one explosive rivalry. This is our game.